Yeah, it's recording. We found this terrifying demon bug a couple minutes, like 10 minutes ago. It's just been sitting there. Look, look at the tail. tail. We like, have no clue what it, oh my gosh. I it, need there, there's that, no. I just know. If I saw this in my bedroom flying around, I would just, I would houses. just be saying, nope, 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 and burn the house oh, down. Oh, that thing's oh, terrifying. Oh, something's happening. What if it didn't have the giant tail? What on earth is this? What on earth is this thing? I feel like it's about to drop the. Chair. It almost looks like the government made it or Ow, something. Cause on my it's got tail. the head of a wasp, the tail of a dragonfly, the wings of a mud dauber, and, the, and then the arms like a of giant, a praying mantis. And like a giant. Deer. And it's perfectly calm besides the fact that it's like lip, ain't like scaring us with by aiming that monstrosity. So what exactly does that giant stinger do? Well, it doesn't sting, but we didn't know that the first time that we discovered this wasp when it was sitting on my hummingbird feeder. In fact, it's the only time I've ever seen it, but I hope that I'm ready next time when we see another one with my camera because I'd really like to get some better video and some better pictures of this. Now, this stinger isn't actually a stinger. It's called an ovipositor, and what it does is it helps to lay the eggs for the wasp. Now, the really unique thing about this is that this wasp takes its ovipositor and it drills directly through the wood of a tree, through the bark, and it lays its eggs. But it doesn't just lay its eggs anywhere. Inside that tree, it, uh, the wasp deposits its eggs through the ovipositor right onto wood wasp larva. And the eggs will then feed on the wood wasp laza, larva, sorry, paralyzing it, and um, then they will hatch and come out from there. So what exactly does that giant stinger do? Well, when we first saw this wasp on my hummingbird feeder, we were a little scared. Nobody likes to get stung by a wasp and that thing looked giant. We have since learned that that wasp actually doesn't sting and um, there's really not a ton known about this wasp either, which is really interesting. But uh, that stinger is actually called an ovipositor, and that's how the wasp lays its eggs. But if that's not unique enough, the wasp will actually use this ovipositor or stinger, the giant thing on the back end that you saw in the video, and it will deposit and drill through the bark and wood of a tree, deposits its eggs right on the surface of a wood wasp larva. How they know it's in there? I don't know. If you want to see this in action, there's a really cool YouTube video that I found that's very detailed and graphic that shows you the wasps laying the eggs and it visualizes it uh, drilling into the tree trunk and then laying on the wood wasp larva. So if you go on YouTube, PBS Nature has a really cool uh, demonstration of this and I actually wrote down the name of the video, it's pretty long. But if you want to look up this video to see it happen, it's called Wasp Deposits Parasitic Larva Deep Inside Tree Trunk. That's the name of their video. You can look it up on YouTube and you'll actually be able to see this in the process. Um, so it's a really cool video. This is a really cool animal. If you've ever seen one, let me know. I'd love to know where in the world you are and where you've seen this, maybe even what time of year if you remember. But I can guarantee that if you've seen this kind of wasp with that giant stinger, you're not going to forget it anytime soon. But it doesn't sting, so make sure you grab your camera and try to get some good pictures. If you got pictures, share them with me. I'd love to see them. So that is the big answer for what does that big stinger do on the wasp. It's an oviceptor that helps to drill into the tree and deposit the eggs on a larva so that this wasp can grow and continue its life cycle. All right, guys. Thanks for checking in.